Hi guys and welcome back to JP Aquatics. So in today's video I'm going to try and scape this 20 by 25 centimeter all-in-one tank that I have built. I'm really excited to try and do this, hopefully it retains all the water, so stay tuned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and replicate a design that I've seen before. I really like the way it looks and I think that if I can replicate this it would just show a level of skill, um, a higher level of skill that I have. So for me it's really a point to prove that I can do it. So I'm going to make this a dirted tank and I'm going to add a base layer of uh, soil to the tank and cover it with gravel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a border over here, move all the soil away from the edges to create a neater look so that when you look at the tank you won't see the difference in the soil layers, you will just see all the gravel that I'm going to put next. Now that I've covered up the edges of the tank with the gravel, I'm going to add more and create a slope backwards. I haven't rinsed out any of this gravel and that's why it's so dirty. So when I fill up the tank eventually, all the dust is going to be on the top. Okay, I've got some stones over here and I managed to break a couple of them down using a hammer just so it fits the scape of the tank. This process takes a while so be patient and make sure that you're happy with what you have. Don't just rush everything. Because I'm using the dry start method, I've added some fertilizer on top of the gravel. This should help the plants grow faster by giving them a nutrient source. I'm going to create a sand path by using a lighter sand. I've started adding sand at the top so that it rolls down and forms a natural path. Okay, so I'm at the plant grow tank. This also wool is getting beneficial bacteria so that when I start this tank and fill it up with water, it will already have cycled media. I'm going to use these baby tears over here as a carpeting plant and maybe some of this reddish plant to make it look like the sun is coming up in one of the corners. Don't forget to wet the soil. Wait, let me clean this up for you. You can break the plants down into small pieces. You don't really need a lot of them. It'll encourage the plants to grow and spread out more. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting all the big leaves off so that the nutrients go straight to the new smaller leaves so that they grow and spread new roots. Like I said before, I'm going to plant these reddish plants in the top corner so it looks like there's a sun or the sun is rising.
and give your plants a final spray before putting on the cling wrap. I'm going to put some cling wrap over the tank to ensure that the tank is humid all the time. This will help the plants. For now, this is what it looks like. It's going to take a while for the plants to settle in and for the roots to grow deep, but I will keep you updated. Like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.